So, here I am, Xbox in hand, about to uh, crack this thing open and see if I can improve its performance a little bit. This is my personal Xbox One X that I play on every single day. What I'm going to do is the current hard drive in it is a one terabyte mechanical hard drive and I want to upgrade it. So I'm going to take this here, one terabyte SSD and put it in there. And I know what you might be thinking, why not just hook it up externally through a USB 3.0 connection, which uh, you would have a valid point. That would be a very viable way of doing it without having to crack it open. I could literally just take a cable, plug this in and I'd be done. But that's no fun. It's gonna be a bit of an involved process. Actually, the opening and closing of this machine is probably gonna be the easiest part. The actual like transferring of the information is gonna be the complicated one, which I actually have to go to my desk area to do that. For now, let's crack on into it and open ourselves up an Xbox. Okay, so we're gonna swap out this for this. And now, here comes the complicated part. Okay, now it's on to the next phase of the drive swap process, which is I got my two drives, my old one and my new one. And as you see, I got cables coming off of them, got a couple USB 3.0 cables. I'm gonna connect these two together and copy one from the other. Now, it's not just as simple as just copy and paste, like open up the drive, copy and go over to the other drive. There is a process because the way that Xbox identifies one drive and the other. So I have to run this script and I'll, uh, I'll include the link in the description for like my source for like the script information because there's like a whole tutorial for running it and everything is really handy. So uh, hopefully this works out well because I did realize that although this original is a uh, one terabyte, this is actually 960. So it's not technically a full terabyte. I, I don't know where that like cutoff is of like, you know, it, is it not an, I mean, it's literally 40 gigs away from one terabyte. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see. That may be the hang up, but luckily though, the way I'm doing it, it preserves this drive. So worst case scenario, I just got to put my old drive back in. I hope that's not the, what I have to do, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Now, I believe the process is done. I know a decent amount of that did not appear. I actually had to disconnect the camera and stop the recording uh, because I had to switch out the drive onto a different USB port. So as you can see in the scripts, there's nothing too interesting going on there, but yeah. And like I said, I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna see that process in greater detail. But uh, okay, so we're ready to put the drive back into the Xbox. All right, so 
it's a pain in the ass to do, but we got it copied over. Now, the process I used to do the file copy, the, the copy from one drive to the other, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. That way I used was a more thorough method. There's actually just a simple cloning method, which is also an option. And now we put it all back together. Okay, we have ourselves a reassembled Xbox. Always gotta replace my tools so as to not lose them. It's a nice handy little kit if you ever wanna work on stuff like an Xbox. I fix it as the tools for you. But now it is done. And one last thing I'm gonna do for the end of this is make sure it works. Okay, Xbox is hooked up. Now I just gotta see if it actually works. Let us see. recording onto the camera itself instead of onto a capture card. End of the day though, we are successful. Everything looks to be in order. My achievements are there. Free of 793 gigs, which, oh damn it. I never looked at the original, so I didn't see it because it's obviously not the full terabyte that's available for saving games. But I know it was slightly lower. I think, because that 793 is what I saw when I was copying the drives over, and that 93 was a little bit larger than the other one, which I, I can actually look at that value, but I can't verify it because I never like did screen cap of this screen here with the old drive in it. But uh, yeah, we're good and we're done. This is a success. I hope you enjoyed watching me trudge through this uh, little mod process of putting a new drive into a Xbox One X. I've upgraded now to, from the HDD to SDD. Same drive size, but just faster drive speeds. But anyway, the process is completed. I thank you for tuning in. And if you liked it, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know. I will see you next time.